Well, good evening, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 2nd of January, 2022. Happy 2022 to everyone. Uh, a lot to talk about here today. We'll start with a recap here of December on a world recap here. Uh, here in the U.S., about 4.8 warmer than last year, warmest in six years, second warmest in 36 years. So a very warm December. That pattern was actually breaking down as uh, we got toward the Christmas uh, season here. But uh, again, very warm front half and uh, again, transitioning uh, toward a colder pattern here toward the end of the month. 16% drier than last year, dries in four years, 12th dries in 36 years. So below average precip and below average snowfall, 28% less snow versus last year, 11th least in 36 years. Obviously epic snow in the Sierras of uh, the West and California, uh, but again, on a national population weighted basis, uh, not a lot of snow unless you're in the high elevations of the West. Uh, world trends again shown here across the world. And inset maps there of the U.S. is temps versus last year and precip versus last year for this uh, same month a year ago. Look at last week's summer here. Again, we start to see some of that big pattern shift here, but uh, week ending 1 January. Now, this is a map versus last year. Here in the U.S., still 3.7 warm in the last year, fourth warmest in 36 years, so much above average temperatures. But you see that uh, cold weather invading the Pacific Northwest, Northern Plains, and that pattern will continue again in January here. 19% drier than last year, dries in four years, eighth wettest in 36 years, so above average there. Snowfall, again, even though it was warmer, it was uh, still 19% more than last year, most in four years, ninth most in 36 years. So again, a snowier week here to uh, end December and to start January. Frigid up in Canada, 15.5 degrees colder than last year, coldest in four years, much below average temperatures up there. Uh, UK, much warmer, U Europe warmer, Russia warmer, China a bit warmer, but again, a little misleading, they were still below average. Uh, down in Brazil, coolest in four years. Uh, maps inset left are the trends versus average. Looking at snow cover here this morning, again, uh, here in the U.S., about 49%. So that's the most in six years. We'd have to go back to 2016. Uh, average this time of year should be about 42%. So again, a couple back-to-back -back years here. Now we're starting to add some snowpack again, and we'll continue to do that here uh, over the next week as well. So again, the snowier pattern for sure. Look at the six-day snowfall trend here. Now this is through 7 January. 770% more snow than last year. Obviously, we didn't have a lot of snow last year. This time it was very warm and dry. Uh, so that'll make it the most in 12 years, 56% above average, eighth most in 36 years. So a very snowy week um, to kick off uh, January for sure here. So we'll go through these maps here today. System through the Great Lakes, uh, interior New England. Well, system will skirt um, the mid-Atlantic. It can actually be the big winner here, Virginia. We'll see if they get uh, this much snow, for 48 inches, and uh, even clipping parts of southern New Jersey here. This is the first of uh, a couple systems. Looking at Tuesday and Wednesday, again, you see another uh, clipper-type system through the upper Midwest. Um, and then a more intense storm Thursday, Friday. We'll see if this is going to be a, this much snow, 48 inches, again, from the central PA, uh, eastern PA, northern New Jersey, New York City. Again, so it could be an interesting event Friday as we get into the um, east. Look at the snowfall overall again. This is the six day total here. So again, um, pretty much a lot of snow out there. So this will definitely uh, add to our snow cover across the US. Uh, part of this is the polar vortex. Again, we can see that there's kind of two splits here. Um, if you like cold, then you, you're happy that it's kind of parked over Hudson Bay, Canada, and the other parts over Southwest Russia. So again, it's uh, still a fairly symmetrical polar vortex, but again, the two splits uh, has one over uh, North America. So again, that will keep us a much, much colder January than what we saw here in, um, in December. So we look at this week here, the first full week of January here in the U.S., 5.6 degrees cold in last year, coldest in four years, 17th colds in 36, seven years, so below average. A little misleading here in the east. We're starting off with a warm Sunday here, uh, but the rest of the week is pretty much way below average, uh, even in the east, northeast. So again, pretty much cold uh, from the plains, the Midwest, down into Texas. Uh, warm spots would be down in Florida. 100%, 111% wetter than last year, 17th wettest in 36, 37 years. Um, 684 percent more snow than last year so that's the most in 12 years so a little overdone here on this uh, model version here for the east it won't be that much so that's showing a over foot uh, probably not the case uh, again probably more in the three four five six seven eight inch range uh, for the friday thursday friday system in the east but nonetheless a snowy week for sure looking at the second week here of january now 3.3 degrees cold in last year coldest in six years 17th colds in 37 years so below average again Part of the cold is going to be in the Great Lakes, northeast, uh, mid-Atlantic. 11% um, wetter than last year, but still that's uh, below average. Similar snowfall to last year and also below average. We'll see about that. Again, models don't do a great job predicting snowstorms uh, two weeks out. But again, a um, general theme is uh, cool and uh, on the dry side here for the second week of January. 
Look at the world two-week aggregate now just aggregating these trends again. See, pretty much the pattern shifted. So the, the really, really warm weather we had in uh, in December is gone. Pretty much uh, wall of this map is uh, versus average. So cold wall-to-wall, coast-to-coast across Canada uh, into the U.S. If there's a warm spot, it's the Florida and uh, Texas. Uh, precip total map uh, inset left. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week and a great start to 2022. And we will be back here again this time next week.